A research team led by Dr. Lori Kirschenbaum from the University of Manitoba and the St. Boniface Hospital Albertson Research Center identified a protein linked to heart failure in chemotherapy patients. This protein is important for regulating different processes within the heart and when this protein seems to be inhibited, the, the heart muscle uh, stops working properly and ultimately results in heart failure. And this is a common feature of uh, cancer patients who are being treated with chemotherapy drugs. Analysis was done on tissue removed from heart failure patients awaiting transplants and the researchers were led to make the link between the absence of TRAF2 protein in individuals taking the chemotherapy drug doxorubicin and the damage to heart muscle cells. We took the TRAF2 protein and we were able to inject it back into the hearts of, uh, in preclinical testing in, in mice and we were able to show that this protein uh, completely restored heart function and eliminated the side effects of the chemotherapy drug. And so by putting this protein back into the heart muscle cells, we are able to keep the heart muscle cells alive and make them resistant uh, to the chemotherapy drug and ultimately prevent heart failure. Dr. Kirschenbaum explains how this discovery could affect millions of people worldwide undergoing chemotherapy and experiencing heart failure. And now that we know that this protein is affected, we can now design ways that we can uh, prevent it from being degraded and, and therefore make the doxorubicin treatment or the chemotherapy treatment less toxic to the heart for cancer patients undergoing treatment. He says his team is working on developing new therapies and drugs to prevent cardiac injury in these individuals and improve patient care. In Winnipeg, Timmy Olatunde, City News. Ahead.